Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be talking about line tracing in Unreal Engine. And I'm going to be explaining it in such a way that, you know, I was having trouble figuring it out when I was starting out. But now it's like kind of second nature and you can do all sorts of fun stuff with it. So yeah, I'm in the uh, first person template. It's this basic thing. And I want to send out a laser signal from my third eye down my, my uh, crosshair to an object, and I want it to tell me what that object is, right? That's a basic line trace. So we're going to set that up in the first person character blueprint. So you want to go to content, first person, BP, blueprints, stuff like that. Open that up, and we're going to go to a spot that is empty right at the bottom. Just scroll up my mouse wheel. So yeah, we're one to one. I'm going to right click and in the search type in line trace by channel, right? Click on that. And this is our basic line trace. All right. So what is required of a line trace? What a line trace is, it, yeah, it basically it's like a, a laser beam that shoots out of the center of your vision in your player camera or out the end of a gun from one point to whatever the uh, rotation and forward vector is. Uh, straight out to a predetermined length and it tells you which object this laser hits and it reports it back and you can do all sorts of cool stuff with that so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set something up so when I hit the E key it'll shoot out a line trace so I'm going to right click and then type in E key and uh, yeah there it is E and uh, when I press it I want the line trace to occur and uh, yeah, I could do this every tick, but yeah, I just want to have, you know, press a key and you can see what's going on. So in order for this to work, you need a start position for the line trace to start. So how do you do that? You need to find the location of something. So you need to reference a location and that needs to reference the location of something else. So don't get freaked out rewatch this like once or twice and I trust me it'll it'll come to you and it'll all kind of make sense and it's just a basic thing that I can you know kind of do so start time or start location a location is a vector remember that it's very important to remember that a location is a vector a vector is like three three things uh, x y and z right this will tell you where that camera is in the world Right, and this is where the line trace starts. So I'm going to drag off of that, and I'm going to type in get world location. Now there's a few things that come up here, and uh, the things that are in brackets is what you want to get the location from. So Unreal Engine in Blueprints is really smart. It helps you along. So it's kind of like, where do you want the line trace to come from. I want it to come from the first person camera. So I'll click on that and then bam. All right. So we got a get world location uh, component and the target is the first person camera, right? There's another way you can go about doing this as well. The first person camera is up here, first person camera. You can actually see the camera in the viewport. You can actually click on that and we have confirmed that this is the first person camera we'll go back to the event graph we can actually drag that in and we'll ha we have another reference of the first person camera same thing so uh, from here I'm gonna do something actually no I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you what this is doing right now so I'll just get rid of that so we have our e key and then we have our get world location for our line trace so yeah let's uh, let's hop in and see what that does all right so let's uh, hit the e key Nothing's happening, right? So I may have purposefully, unpurposefully forgot to do something. You want to go to the draw debug type. This will actually show you what the laser looks like. And I'm going to set uh, persistent so it's on forever. And you can turn that off. It's for debugging so you kind of know and you can see where that laser is. So we're going to do that. We're going to hit play again. And I'm going to hit the E key. And that's one of the lasers, but it's it's firing from the camera location, but it's shooting somewhere. These are all shooting 
somewhere. I'm just hitting the E key, right? So that was a, this right here was a hit. It actually hit an object and now it's green. So that, that these little red squares, that is a hit and that is returning information, right? So you notice that I'm running around and I'm firing. Right, and they all seem to want to go, even if I'm turning around and pressing it, I'm just pressing it, it all seems to want to go to one location. That is the 0, 0, 0 vector. That is the 0, 0, 0 location. So what it's doing right now, and this is, this is me explaining it to myself when I was struggling to figure this out, what it's doing is it's firing from a, the location of the first person camera and then firing to the end like the like the end location which is zero 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 so we need to fire we need to fire the end location needs to be in a direction that we're looking and in front of us right so you do that super easy super easy trust me you right click and you say so we've got world location here we want to get world rotation Right, see these are set. I want to get a get world location of first person camera. Right, or you could type in uh, get world rotation. There's no reference to it, and you can just go first person camera, drag that in there, and then connect it. Or if you want to be cool, you can just connect it to the same reference just to just to kind of keep it tidy. Right. Okay, so we're gonna get the world rotation. And then we need to do something else. We actually need to get the forward vector from this return value, right? We need to know which direction we're facing. So we'll go get vector, get vector, and it says get forward vector. Bam. All right. So here we are. All right. So we got our get forward vector and, uh, Cool thing we can do actually is we can right click on this yellow part and we can struct it, split struct, and we can see all the return values. And this is useful for certain little tricks that I've been uh, doing lately. It's actually pretty fun, but uh, the uh, return value will kind of, you know, be split up and you can do all sorts of fun things. But let's not do that. Uh, combine struct pin. So now it's a, a single value. A single vector value as opposed to this right here all right so let's kind of put that uh i'm forgetting something sorry so we need to actually set in a funny way out of the forward vector the distance that the laser shoots out from the location and it'll end this is really important for like see if you had like a light switch or something you wouldn't be able to turn on that light switch from like like 10 meters away, you actually have to walk up to it and then touch it with like arm's length, however long that is. And, you know, so maybe like a meter or like 80 centimeters or something like that, just to keep it realistic. Or if it's a gun, you, know, you can shoot that pretty far, but you know, there's a distance, a maximized maximum distance a bullet can fire from a gun. So we're going to put in the forward vector, um, uh, distance by doing simple math. Burp. Don't be freaked out. So you want a vector and then you want to use the, uh, the times um, thing. The asterisk. Right? So we want to actually times the vector by a I believe it's a, yeah, it's an integer right? A number. Uh, uh, and an integer is a round number. And uh, the, the float is a number that's like, like 0 0.00111. It's like a very like, uh, large number for, you know, other math things that I won't get into right now for like percentages and things like that. So this will dictate how far the, the, the laser will go, which is pretty cool. So I wanted to go, let's just say one, thousand unreal units right and we're going to actually draw another one of these off 
and we need to add this to the get world uh, location, right? So we want to just type in that plus sign, a vector plus a vector, right? Very important. And uh, just to keep it tidy, I'm just going to get rid of that. I'm going to hold uh, Alt and click on that right there. Click on that pin. I want this return value for the get world location to be put in this top one. And then the get world location plus the forward vector plus how you know far away it is to that uh, one right here. It'll add those together. And the return will go into the end pin. Right? So here, here's here's the cool part. Let's do this. Right? So now I'm gonna press E and it's shooting out of my forehead. Right? And uh yeah, it's like figuring out the end location. The length is not as long, but that doesn't matter. Look at that. Freaking awesome. Right? So there we go. Alright, so we're gonna do something basic, basic, basic. I'm going to show like the basic thing with uh, the uh, line trace by channel. So I'm going to go in here and then my out hit is here. I'm going to drag off of the out hit and then go down to break hit result. And that'll explode this into a bunch of things. And I'm going to go hit actor. So when it hits an actor, I want it to get its name. I want to know who this guy is because he owes me money. So you, you drag that off the hit actor. Boom. And then you want to get, uh, I believe it's called get display name. Yes, get display name. And then that is going to go to a print string. Print string, right? Development only. Don't worry about it. And bam, that will go there, right? So when it hits something, it will find the hit actor. If it's a hit actor, it can hit a, a variety of different things here. It will get the name of that object and then print it out. And what print string is, is it just displays text, right? Whatever the name is. Like You can put anything in there, but... Yeah, so there you go. So when you press E, it does all the fancy world location, rotation, and math, and referencing the first-person camera. And and then it's it kind of does that, shoots a laser out. When it hits something, it will print something. It'll get the display name, and then it'll print it. That's all connected up. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go da-da-da, and you'll see in the top left, Editor cube 11, it's this one. Actually, I'm going to go back. I'm going to increase my forward vector um, just by adding a couple more zeros. Here's, let's just go on forever. Hit that, cube 11. That's a wall. Another wall. It's a cube 8. That's a big wall. Another big wall. Uh, Editor cube 20. Right, so it's telling me what these things are. You kind of know what you're hitting. And that is uh, a basic line trace by channel. This math seems kind of, you know, confusing, but it's just getting the world location, a single point, a single point in the world. And then it is kind of putting that in the start, and that's where it's starting the world rotation, it's figuring out where you are, and then it's finding the forward vector, right? How far away you want the laser to go, and then it's adding the world lo uh, location and rotation forward vector plus the length of it into the endpoint, right? So you just, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's simple when you think about it. Anyway, hope you guys learned stuff. Take care and have a good one.